So this is Archana Dalmia, who is an art historian. Uh, so Archana, why don't you tell us uh, what did you study and what courses did you take? I have studied. Uh, I studied the basics of uh, European art history. That was my foundation, and after that, I studied uh, art history as in uh, European art history, uh, which was more historical. After that, I have studied uh, done my masters in uh, contemporary art history and new media. And besides that, I have studied uh, Indian aesthetics and art and architecture of Southeast Asia. Okay. So what was your main motivation to become an art historian? Uh, I always enjoyed art. That was one thing. And I was always intrigued by things and all. Like my father used to have these catalogs from Christie's and Sotheby's back at home. So when I was at home, I just used to keep on doing that. My mother was a painter. So there was something uh, behind, but then I just decided to get into it and make it as a profession and change from what I was doing earlier. Okay. So why don't you give us a brief history of your career? Brief history of my career as an art historian, if that's what you're asking me on. Um, I started studying. And I, when I was studying, I uh, finished my studies, and I started doing a little bit of curatorial work, a little bit of research work. I was briefly with the Bao Gajil Art Museum. And um, research always interested me. And studying objects, studying art, knowing a little bit more about the, that. And as and when I was doing my contemporary art history course, uh, I really get, uh, started getting more into things in the more deeper sense and understanding better in the way that it needs to be presented to people. So earlier, it was just like studying. But then again, this was uh, after studying, this was reproducing what I had studied also. So I developed skills in uh, writing and uh, yeah, and research definitely got better. It improved a lot. Okay. So how do you make how do you make use of technology as an art historian, and how do you think it will impact your field in the years to come? Technology definitely has helped because as a research, as in when you're doing research, you definitely it kind of connects you to certain universities certain art sites, it gives you what is happening around. It connects you to the art historians all globally. It uh, You have access to papers, you have access to research stuff that people are doing. So that is one aspect of technology. The second aspect is uh, being uh, associated with museums also. They have augmented reality. So people sometimes, in, especially in today's day and time, when they are unable to travel to museums, they can just still be at home and will continue virtually visiting the museum. And there is augmented reality where instead of seeing an object as a 2D, you see it more as a 3D on a 3D perspective and, and more up close, you know. So that uh, in these two terms, definitely technology has helped. And in the coming times, I'm sure there will be some more stuff. And uh, as uh, right now, when we're connecting to papers, research papers, academics online, I'm sure there will be virtual way of connecting to that and then again integrating that with the museum objects and um, assimilating that with uh, the uh, maybe uh, some some way to uh, the auction houses also because uh, auction houses earlier people just went right now you can do auction being at home also. So that change has definitely happened. So again, there would be, I would see uh, more integration and uh, of all these things coming together on one platform, you know. OK. So what are the skills someone should have to succeed as an art historian? Passion for art, passion for history, and to be prepared to be studying constantly because this is this does involve the uh, constant study, constantly being uh, um, updated with what is happening, you know, in terms of because it's really a fast moving thing. It's from uh, historical to contemporary, from contemporary to new media, and from new media, I'm sure there'll be something more coming up, you know, with the 
AI developing, AI coming up, you never know what's going to happen, you know. All right. So what um, guidance do you have for those who are looking to pursue a career in art and history? Art and history? Yeah, or separate. art history. Separate all, all three. All what three. Do you, what do you okay. think? Uh, art is again something that uh, you have to be again enjoying it. And again, then there are different things, whether you want to get into the painting bit or you want to get into the sculptural bit or you want to get into the new media bit. So that, that is one thing you have to figure out what is your passion and interest and accordingly go ahead with that. And history is something that is uh, what we study back at school is very different. You know, it's just like we're just like more parroting what we've been taught, but that is not what we have to do. It's like understanding what uh, happened at that point of time and how that influenced the art and that movement. So that is how you relate the art history part. And that is what is art history, you know, art plus history and together and uh, working on that together. All right. So thank you. Oh, actually, wait, wait. Uh, hold up. Um, so his. Oh yeah, that's all. That's all. That's it. So, thank you, Anything Arjuna. Else? Thank you for your time. No, no. I was. No I was thinking whether I should ask you another question, but I think you got that. Oh, right. I just want to ask me. No, no. I think I think you answered that right now. So okay. thank you. Welcome, Yohan. Bye.